Good morning everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderfully blessed day. Today is a beautiful day out. I am Akeem Booth, Moments by Booth on all social media platforms and welcome to my very first real estate video. Run me intro. So today we're in the town of the Spaniards, Spanish town, which boasts the finest collection of historical buildings and archives in Jamaica. And we're heading to the Chess Club Manor in Bellevue Heights to look at a three bedroom, two and a half bath townhouse that is brand spanking new, ready for you to move in with you and your family. And it's going for an asking price of just 25 million. All right, so one way to get to this property is to drive on the Spanish Town Bypass heading like you're going towards um, Angel's Estates and once you get to Job Lane at the Spanish Town Depot you're going to make a left turn and just continue going straight but what I'll do for you guys is to provide a video show it, showing me driving from this main road that I'm talking about to get all the way to the property so whether you're looking to buy this property right now or you're just looking to do a viewing you will know exactly how to get there all right so watch and see all right so this is the left turn you would make at job lane off of the spanish town bypass in a sense passing the depot on your right hand side and you'll continue going straight until you get to the four-way crossing you'll make a right turn this right turn that we're about to make is going to take us on to St. John's Road and essentially from here it's a straight drive we're going to continue for four kilometers We're stepping into this gorgeous townhouse three bedrooms two and a half bath an open floor plan mr. Ian is hiding right here don't no hide man go on do your thing all right so he's a realtor by the way I'll have his information in the description below so you can reach out to him in case you want to view this property or to make a purchase off of this video 
All right, so we have these gorgeous doors right here that leads to the front patio area. Open floor plan. It's a beautiful space. You can do, certainly can do some entertaining out here. Maybe put up a nice chair in the center, a nice um, desk or table in the center, two chairs on each side. And this is a lovely space to relax and enjoy the, tranquil, the tranquility on the outside during the evenings, especially and in the afternoons as well when the time is a little hotter um, and you want to just cool out. But this area in particular is naturally cool because it's elevated um, where the house is situated. So we have two massive windows that give you access or viewing of what will be a common area on the outside where there will be a gazebo and a jerk pit where you can do a lot of entertaining with more guests, friends and family that are always welcome to come by your houses, I would believe. There are two power outlets or sockets on this side of the room. We have the lighting switches for the living area and the dining area right here, which ties into one. It is a massive space, open floor plan. I have put the dimensions of this space and every other space in this house on the bottom left or right corner of this video and also in the description below. So right now, we're going into the kitchen area where we have the lovely dark, brown cabinets with stainless steel trimmings um, as you can see we have a lot of storage space for your pans your pots those master chefs out there those aspiring chefs we also have a nice space for a stainless steel stove that will go very well with this sort of cabinet whether it be straight stainless steel those nice samsung stainless steel stoves or it's stainless steel with black it still works because in the grain of this wood there is a dark or black hue mixed in with the dark brown all right and for all those who fancy a bit of drinking there's also a nice wine rack right here we can look in one of these to see how the shelf spacing is set up now this is a lovely Korean countertop um, we have a socket right here as well for your microwave and for me I love to have smoothies in the morning so you know you have your Nutribullet set up right here as well and moving along there's this nice deep sink ready to wash those big pots and pans that you'll be keeping in all of this cabinet space in this home there's also a very sizable window to view the back whilst you're cooking the kids are in the backyard playing you can keep an eye on them now we have a grand space right here for one of those massive double door stainless steel samsung fridges those ones with the touch screen you know the ones that i'm talking about you can connect to your phone you can set the temperatures from your samsung app and all of that moving right along we have the washroom we have a deep sink here for those old school persons or old-fashioned persons who want to plug the tub and do them original scripts 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 sodding and all of that before they put the clothes in the washing machine there are two pipes right here one for hot water one for cold water um, and a outlet right here to plug in the washing machine that will be in this area. Now, we're moving to the backyard space. Um, for those of you who don't want to invest in a dryer, there is enough space around here to put up a line where you can hang your clothing. And there's also a nice backyard entertainment space. Can be certainly transform. I see myself around here putting out a chair putting a grill pan right here in this corner entertaining a few guests out here relaxing whilst the kids play in our backyard space all right so moving back inside the house now we did not mention this before but there is indeed a breakfast counter right here 
for your kids to have breakfast in the morning whilst you're getting ready to go to school and you're also getting ready to go to work. As I mentioned earlier in this video, there is a half bath downstairs, there's a light switch, there's also another socket right here. So what we can clearly see is there are a lot of sockets, a lot of power outlets where you can plug things in. A lot of lighting is also inside this space. It's just for you to connect the, the JPS's power system and you will have power and gorgeous bright lights coming through. This is a lovely setup in terms of lighting right here with the three-fold lighting setup with also with stainless steel finishes and we have the single bowl, deep bowl sink, gorgeous, 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 looking lovely as well, how it's situated, we have a towel rack, we have a station where you can put some other necessities and a toilet of course, all right? So what you can also see from this area is that it lets in a lot of natural light. How the house is situated right now? It's overcast. Let me let me show you outside. Right now, outside is overcast, but as you can see, inside the house is pretty much still very well lit. And just imagine when the sun is out, how much light you will get from these two windows right here and this massive sliding door right there. So now. We're heading upstairs, going to where the magic happens. And let me tell you, you have these gorgeous handrails you can use that assist you to get up the stairs. Beautiful tiling going all throughout the house. And we'll start off with the first of two standard bedrooms, which are the exact same size. I'll put the dimensions of this room in the bottom right or left corner of this video. Now we have the closet area for your kids to store their clothing. And we have a socket on the left, socket on the right, lighting right there, lighting right here, and a massive window that overlooks some greenery and the backyard. And I'm pretty sure this is a nice room for your first or second child. Also can turn it into a nursery if you like or a office space. Now this is another, this is the second of the standard rooms that are upstairs. Still very much a lot of proper lighting. Um, there are two windows in this one. The other one only has one window. So that one could be used as a Alright, so this unit only has one window, so that one could be used as an office space, whereas this particular room would be more suited for a child's bedroom. If you have more than one children, then you know you could have to utilize the next room as a bedroom as well. So for the two rooms, we have this lovely bathroom. Nice sink for the kids to brush their teeth in the morning. A nice toilet, two towel racks, an area to store your toiletries. A nice shower and tub. Tub that can be plugged. So if you want, if the children want to have their bubble baths, they can as well. Another towel rack right there. And we have space to be used in under the sink. Now we're moving into what everybody has been waiting on. The master bedroom. The master bedroom. Um, I will put the dimensions of it in the description below as well as to the left or to the right of this video. Bottom left or right. We have this massive window massive massive window overlooking the area that will be the entertainment space gorgeous room there's also these beautiful glass doors that open out butterfly out 
that leads onto your very own private balcony that oversees the common area as well and the front yard. Moving right back into the house, we know one thing persons always look for is a very nice bathroom and this bathroom is exceptional. It has the double vanity sinks, the his and hers, so you and your wife can get ready in the mornings. Nice finishings above as well for really good lighting. There's also two towel racks right there. Similar setup but just more refined for the master than as the other bathroom. And we also have this gorgeous raindrop shower for those of us who love to take long showers that's perfect for you this massive toilet massive massive toilet for you to do your business and the tissue rack right there let me give you a 360 spin of this room again and we're moving into the closet area, it is a walk-in closet, one on each, we have space on each side, so I do believe your wife will want this space, I know my wife would, and as the husband, you know you have to take what your wife gives you, so you enjoy the left space, she takes the right space so she can put all her shoes right there and handbags and you will have a peaceful home. Another spin around the master. And that is pretty much it for this property. It's a beautiful space. I do believe it is ready for a family of four to move in. But if you have a family of three, it's an exceptional space as well because you can use the other bedroom as a office space for yourself and it's going for a price of just 25 million as i said you can reach out to mr eon nelson on instagram or facebook or via all the contact information i will leave in the description below i am akim booth this has been a real estate video by moments by booth and you can stick around for more real estate videos by moments by booth and if you like this video please ensure that you like share subscribe and show it to all your friends and family tell them about this house reasonably priced unlike the other homes you'll see in spanish town that are just the typical matches box house persons looking to build houses in spanish town they ideally want to build smaller homes just the run of the mill matches box homes but the developer for this home really went outside of the box really developed a space that feels like home if i had the money i would move into this space right now all right so thanks for watching again a b signing out yeah.